Hello, everybody. Simon Holden here for Holden Sources on Friday, the 17th of September. It's just coming up to 10 a.m. And this is the first of two Holden Sources editions today because it's the sports bar tonight. Not sure what time yet. And I'll be doing a free a Lucky 15 for tomorrow's racing exclusive to YouTube. So make a date there. And of course, if you're not a member of this channel, then please do subscribe and you'll click the notification bell and you will know what time I am on tonight. So it's usually a fun episode and uh, looking forward to being with you uh, then tonight. But before that, I have a bet for us. Before that, let me just reiterate. As I said, I would do air card markers. Now, yesterday at Ponzi, two good winners and uh, a 16 to 1 win double was copped. But today and tomorrow, I'm going to do air card markers. I'll release the uh, air Saturday Gold Cup day one with all the races in it tomorrow morning between half eight and nine. But today I have got some big air gambles. Uh, let me go through some of the prices if you come on board. We've got a very, very strong nap, a very strong next best. Now, of course, you must, must double these up. We saw the power yesterday of the combos with that 16 to 1 double. We then got a very, very solid bet. We got a huge 20 to 1 shot. We got 18s and we finish off with 33s, 20s. We've got some big price gambles, uh, big price horses were winning yet. <coughs> Excuse me, sneezy, does it? Uh, Big price horses were winning yesterday, and I believe big price horses will win today. And I believe I've got some of them on the air card marker. Go to the top link. This is a big, big day mini festival. Let's get stuck in. Let's have some big price hold and sources gamble. So join me for just five pounds. You get the works, the full eight race card. Now, for our YouTube exclusive bet, there's a very interesting race down at the Abbott, Newton Abbott. It's the 228. It's a class four, three mile, two handicap chase. It's not a bad race at all. This is only four runners, but it poses some very interesting questions. The first one is Christian Williams has two horses in it. Do we go with the Williams favourite? which is Joey Steele, ridden by Nick Smiley Schofield, or do we go with the other one? Uh, Christian Williams' horse, ridden by Jack Tudor, taking three pounds off. That's Cage of Fear. There is money for Cage of Fear. Now, that's our first question. Our second question is, do we take them on with the other two? We have Black Anthem in here for Tom Lacey. Johnny Burke takes the ride at three to one, which leaves number one top of the shot the top weight fact of the matter now this is a tight betting race you've got joey Steele at seven to four we've got black anthem at threes we've got fact of the matter at 11 to four and we've got the outsider but not unbacked the second christian williams horse cage of fear now i'm going to take on the two christian williams horses if you ask me out of the two who i fancy the most it's actually the outsider cage of fear but I don't fancy Black Anthem. That's the one you've got to take the pen through. But this is a tight handicap. But I had to make a decision. I had to strike one out. Don't want the Snowden to. So that leaves me with fact of the matter. Now, this is in the veteran stage. Um, but it's a five chase winner. It's aged 11 now. Uh, was a decent third last time. But I think the handicap has given this a real chance of banging possibly it's final winning uh it's now rated 112 and the other thing that makes me think this could be the one is the way this race will be run i think fact of the matter can poach an easy lead here i really really do i think for for various reasons the other three need to be held up so if gavin sheehan gets this right my other strong fancy is that gavin sheen is a very clever tactical rider particularly of front runners now i'm sure him and jamie snowden have concocted a plan to win this race and that's to get a lead set, slow it down get the others uh using up too much energy and then kick on the last circuit if he can poach four five six lengths i think he can plod on at a pace enough to win this so it's only four runners but i think 11 to 4 when we've got the race run to suit, if they follow the tactics, of course, we had some instances yesterday of brainless riding at air where you had uh, 
clearly a front runner bias and yet jockeys continuing to hold horses up massively off the base so uh of course gavin sheehan needs to follow the plan but if he looks into this race jamie snowden is a very astute trainer and i'm sure he'll have come to the same conclusion i have that the way back to the matter can win this race is to take the lead slow it down and then bang kick half away down the back on the last circuit hopefully kicking while in the lead let's see if i'm right if 11 to 4 is going to look very big if the race does pan out that well so it's a tight race but i do think this is a bet take the 11 to 4 across the board on number one given a chance by the handicapper and in decent form fact of the matter in the 228 at Newton Abbot. So that's your HFC Friday flyer. We're going over the sticks and I'll be back tonight uh, with a free lucky 15 for tomorrow's racing. It's Air Festival. We've got day two on the card marker. There are eight races there. The service bets are concentrating on Newbury. If you want to be involved in the club email, I'll tell you again, you can be at the second link down. And then it's all about tomorrow. Air Gold Cup Day. I'll be back tomorrow morning between 8.30 and 9, but I'll be back for a right Royal Sports Bar tonight. Keep it holding sources. Good luck with Facts of the Matter. Good luck if you're in the services at Newbury. Good luck if you're playing card marker. I'll see you all later. Have a great day. Keep it HH. HFC, the only letters that matter.